it's Tybug and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. I am literally so excited today because I'm reviewing the makeup by Bun Chewy. It's an artist from Instagram and she does makeup. So I'm going to be reviewing that today. I'm really excited because I haven't touched it at all so I don't know like how it's going to perform. And luckily my camera came back today so we're going to have some good quality. So yeah, let's get started. But first let me talk about this company and this brand. So I found out about this via TikTok. Um, back when this person had their first launch. So that was months and months and months ago, like probably back in, back in the summer of 2021 is when I first found this brand. And I just missed the first launch, so I couldn't order anything then. So I was waiting and waiting and waiting till the next launch happened. And luckily the next launch or the pre-orders for the next launch happened in October. So I put in my order I like had to wake up really early in the morning because this, um, this brand is based out of the UK. So like Hawaii time to UK time is a lot of difference. So I woke up really, really early and I placed my order and then I waited until December. <laughs> to get it. Um, the person made it explicitly clear that the pre-orders were just in October and then it was going to take like November and December for everything to come out so that was totally fine with me and I expected it to take actually a lot longer because UK to Hawaii is a long, long way so I was pleasantly surprised when I got here quickly after Christmas so it was like a Christmas gift that I couldn't touch until I could record a review. Um, Shipping wise, that was a little bit killer because I understand it's a small business so they're doing everything on their own dime. So I covered the whole shipping fee is what I'm assuming so that was pretty expensive. The palettes themselves weren't that bad in price. Everything was in UK price so like it kind of converted at the end but I think they were fairly priced kind of like think color ColourPop prices for like this size. So I think that was fine. It was really the shipping that kind of got me. The artist, um, they put all of their like designs, their process on Instagram and like they're really clear that this is a one person business. It's a small business. They're really doing this all on their own. So this brand is Bun Chewy. The artist is Bun Chewy and these are Genshin Impact inspired palettes. I keep showing the Kaya one because this was the one I had been eyeing for the longest time. My hair is blue, he's blue, it was perfect. So let's start with swatches now. It's what you're probably excited for. So this, I'm gonna start with this little blush first. This is the Tarumaru blush. So we have Toma and Tarumaru. Um, the blushes they had didn't really look like they would show up on my skin tone at all because they were either really fair or, you know, just something I already had. So I really just got it because I like the character. So um, this is what the actual packaging looks like. And it's, uh, if I can open it, it's uh, kind of like a nudish uh, kind of blush with uh, gold sparkles in it and it has like a little paw print. They had on the website darker skin models have this on them so I thought oh it should be fine anyways. So I'm just gonna put that on my arm here, my nice arm canvas. And I don't really abide by the rule. One swipe only. I'm just gonna do as much as... Oh. Do you see? Let me, let me turn down this brightness a little bit. Do you see that? Look at that. It, my face. Look at it. I actually think this may show up on me. Okay, I love that. I love the cases. I'm kind of sad that Toma isn't on the actual compact. So uh, if I ever get rid of the case, bye bye Toma. So that's the blush. Next, I'm gonna go to the Kaya palette because this is what I've been waiting for. So this is the outer sort of cardboard case and it has all the ingredients on the back. It shows it's recyclable, 12 month open, you know, 12 month exp expiration and uh, cruelty free, which is nice. 
I wonder what you have to go through to get that little cruelty free sticker. So this is just like a cute little cardboard insert. Outsert, because it's outside of it. <laughs> and this is it itself. It's nice and solid. It's cardboard. Ooh, they have a little clear thing so your um so the pants don't get messed up. You can kind of see how thick the layer is. Very nice. And it's not like flimsy cardboard. It's I feel like it's double layered or something. We have a mirror inside. I think there's a protective sheet on the mirror. Can't really tell. Then we have nine pans. We have some shimmer shades, some sparkle shades, and some matte shades. Ooh, I'm really excited for this one because it's holographic. So we'll see how that looks. How am I supposed to do this? How do people do this? I am kind of shocked because you know sometimes I see so many people like making their own makeup brands and stuff and I'm like okay who are you who are you outsourcing this to who is formulating your products oh whoa that that's a that a lot came off on that So I get kind of skeptical about that, like I get scared about like, you know, the f the ingredients that are going to be and stuff. Can you see how sparkly that is? I'll, I'll adjust the brightness in just a second so you can see it all. Ooh, is that the same color as my hair? <gasps> that looks really similar. This one, I feel like you can just pat your finger in it and it'll... I get a little bit nervous about sparkles too because I'm scared they're going to scratch my corneas because I've been told horror stories. But it's time to get over that fear. Ooh, that's shiny. Nice, it covers my scar very nicely. This one, I feel like I touched that one before. That's nice. That looks like a the blue I've used before um, from Maybelline, I think it was. That looks very similar to that. Another sparkle. Yeah, that, that, that shows up. <laughs> and a dark blue, probably a crease shade. Ooh, not that. It's a little bit patchy, but you know what? I've heard blues and purples are really hard. I kind of got all the colors that are hard to formulate. I didn't get any purples, but I got a lot of blues and greens. So I'm gonna turn down the brightness a little bit just so you can see this pigmentation. There we go. Ta-da! Okay, so that's the Kaya palette. And then I got a Goro and Zhao palette and I kind of am a little anxious because they're very similar in color scheme. So I'm scared I've got two of the same palette, but hopefully not. Okay, let's do Zhao next. So like I said, I really just got palettes based off of the characters I liked. So it has the same outside and the quality control on this is really, really good. Like. There's not, I haven't noticed one that looks like, oh, that's a little bit messed up or like the case isn't as firm. Like the quality control is on point. I forgot to mention too, you get this cute little um, Klee Balm thank you. It says, thank you for your patience and support. I really appreciate it. I hope this bun mail gets to you safely and I hope you will enjoy it too. Take care and have a possum day. Lots of love, Bun Chewy. And then with this, we got their branded sticker. It has a little bunny on it. Mora and Primo Gems. I wish this was real, because I could use some. Just still trying to get Shen, huh? I got Zhao, though. We have Zhao, we have the boy. Okay, so arms clean. Little bit of sparkle residue. My table is full of sparkles, so that's a little bit. Not that great taking this off. So let's, this is Zhao's palette. We got the greens, we got the reds. Some sparkles, some shimmers, some mattes. So let's compare that to the Kaya palette. So these are obviously different. We got blues, greens, 
The white shades are kind of similar. This has a little bit more of a, a beige undertone, I would say, and this is more of like a, a yellow undertone. I mean, that's kind of, when I'm saying it, it sounds very similar, but they're a little bit different, and like, not everyone is gonna get multiple palettes, so there's some difference there. This is more of a green sparkle, a green blue sparkle, and this is more just a pure blue sparkle. Let's see, is there any other similarities? No, I'd say we're pretty good. I mean, you gotta be creative to come up with all of these different color schemes for characters who look a, a, a similar a lot of the time. Okay, let's go. Ooh, that's a pretty turquoise. I love it. I think we're doing a green look today when we're trying this out. Ooh, oh, oh wait. It's not, this one isn't behaving that well. There we go. Got it, working a little bit. Green shimmer. Ooh, I love that. I love the way it looks. That's so pretty. I have a very similar shade of this in my Ice Cream Dream palette. I haven't really gotten a chance to use it, but I love it. I will swatch the similar colors next to each other to see how, like, if they're the same or not the same. Because sometimes they will look the same in the pan, but when you put them on, they'll be completely different. This is like a goldish shimmer. Not as like orangish gold, it's more of a pale gold. Ooh, that's a little sheer. Kind of. And I like this color. This one only has one glitter. I. I, like I said, I don't really like glitter that much, so I'm kind of glad this doesn't have a whole bunch of glitter. You know, that's kind of true to Zhao. Oh my god, I think that's my favorite shade ever. I love turquoise. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Okay, let me clean off my hands and I'm going to show you all the swatches in lower brightness. Can you see? Ta-da! Okay, now for the last palette. We got Goro, my puppy boy. So same thing, the little outer shell, the plastic, the plastic protector. So this is Goro's palette. A little bit more neutrals, a black, a black shimmer. So we got sparkles, shimmers, and neutrals. So in my left hand, we'll have Zhao, Goro. So these are how they look together. A little bit different, kind of the same. I'm thinking this shade up here may be similar to one of the shades. At a distance, they don't look too similar, but let's see. They're like so silky smooth in the pan. Oh, that doesn't show up on me at all. That'll be a blending shade. <laughs> oh. oh, I love shimmer. Oh, this is a bronze. That's lovely. That's gorgeous. Let's look at this sparkle bronze. These sparkles, well, I don't really have a lot of experience with sparkles because I tend to avoid them. They, the glitter seems a little bit hard, a little bit coarse. So like, just take that with a grain of salt since I don't have a ton of experience with sparkle eyeshadow. So I don't know what the regular would be. This is very pretty, but I probably won't use the glitters. I probably use the glitters more as like a, you know, like a, rave highlighter or something. I don't rave, but you know, cause I'm too, I'm too scared. Ooh, that's a nice black. I'm too scared to put it by my eyes. That's a lovely black. The shimmers, I can't tell if the shimmers are from whatever else I have on my arm or if it's actually from here. In the pan, it looks very sparkly. On my arm, not so much. 
And then this red shade. I think this red shade is very similar to the Zhao one. Can you all see? See, this is where the one shade that doesn't even show up is. Now I'm gonna show you the shades that seem very, very similar in the pans next to each other. If anything, these are really more like art pieces because this is an artist and I don't know like how long they've been doing makeup per se, just like from my observations, they first started off doing just art and then they went into the makeup. I'm gonna pull up their Instagram right now to see how long ago they first started posting the makeup kind of a uh, journey. So they started doing Genshin art pretty early. Their first Genshin art is of Klee and that's February, 20, February 20th, 2021. And then they started posting makeup sort of like mocks in March 27th, 2021. So this was their first makeup mock. I think their first launch was May of 2021. Cause that's when I see the first um, actual product, you know, like the actual uh, palette with them. So I think that's their first launch. Then their second launch was, um, you know, October. So, you know, that's pretty good to have two launches in a year when you're doing it all yourself. So kudos. Sorry the lighting keeps changing. I have my window open, which is making it even harder. Okay, I'm gonna do the red from Goro's palette and the red from Zhao's palette. So first is Goro's palette. And then Zhao's palette. So yeah, those are essentially the shame, the shame essentially the same. This is more of a deeper red, but this is more of like a pinky red. I don't know if that's just because I can't get it all on there. So that may be like a quality control sort of thing, but they look very similar. So those are the reds. I see three blue shades that may look pretty similar. So this is, I'm gonna do this green sort of shade from Goro's, this green blue sort of shade from Zhao's, and this blue shade from Kaya's. So first, Goro. Uh-oh. Kaya. Okay, that's very different. This is a green blue, this is a blue blue. And Zhao. So yeah, those three are all different. These three blues are all different. We're gonna put the blush on, then we're gonna try a makeup look. And then I'm gonna try two different bases. I'm gonna do a concealer base, which is my shade, and then a white base, which is P. Louise, which is, you know, people say is great. Ooh, I scratched the palette. I scratched the pan. Ooh, okay. There's a ton of fallout when I put my brush in there. Let's, there's a ton. I don't want to just blow it away. I'll just be more gentle. Ooh, you can see it. It's like an orange on my skin tone. Let's try the other side. I made this side so, so bright, I need to even it up. It's actually kind of pretty. I actually kind of like that. I didn't think I would. I just thought it'd be more of a thing like, oh, I love the, I love the packaging. But that looks, I'm digging it. I've never used a blush in this kind of color family before. I've always just used pinks or uh, reds. I don't even think I've used purple blush before, but this is like, it's kind of a look. Let's see if I can see the gold sparkles in it. I can! Very subtle. So it looks like, you know, you've used like a little sparkly lotion underneath your uh, current skin foundation. Looks lovely. Lovely. I love it. I love it. Okay. Now let's do the first eye. I think... I think the first eye should be concealer since I feel like that's what most people use when they're doing their bases. Eye bases if they don't have like an eye primer or anything. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of concealer on my eye. I'm gonna bring my other mirror in here a little bit. 
Okay, what type of look are we feeling? We got some blue going on. Green would look great with brown, but we have this kind of like orangish, brownish blush going on, so we need to complement that a little bit. I'm really digging this teal here, so I'm gonna go in with that first and see what we're cooking with. What we're cooking with on the eyes. This is just a dense, fluffy brush. Okay, so it goes on pretty well, but it's not that pigmented, I would say. There's not a whole bunch of fallout when I'm just tapping it in there. So that is something that's good. It's not really clinging or patchy, but it's very sheer, I would say. I don't know how much I can build it up, so I'm, that's what I'm trying right now. Because I have a deeper, a little bit deeper skin tone. I'm not the darkest, I'm not the lightest either. So this is like, on the tan sort of base is like what we're looking at here. So I've kind of gone over this like four times, I would say. And you know, for going over it four times, you would expect like a lot of clumping or grabbing onto like dry skin or something, but it's pretty good. It's not that bad. So, that, so that was from Goro. Let's try this little, I'm not gonna go in deepest yet, maybe a green. Let's go into this green from Zhao. So no fallout from Zhao. That's great. Ooh, this green's better. Trying to blend it a little bit, but it's kind of making the blue uh, go up. Like patch, it goes away a little bit when I'm trying to blend it. I don't know if that's because the green is so much more vibrant or if there's a difference in formulas here. Because we can't really see that blue at all compared to this green. Let's try and blend it in a little bit more. Mm. Not really. Let's, I'm gonna put a different blue on top of um, this teal kind of turquoise color we have. It's a light shade, so it may be more of like a transition shade. I'm gonna go on top with this blue from Kaya. So if I put something on top of here, on top of a shade already, it kind of, that's when it starts to stick and patch a little bit. Let's try the blue on top of nothing, just on top of the concealer. Okay, it shows up, but they're getting a little bit muddy, I would say. The colors are getting a little bit muddy. Hmm, what should we do to fix this? I don't typically use concealer as my base, but I know a lot of people do, so that's why I was trying it out. But I don't think I would try that out again. I don't like concealer as a base. I've kind of made the blues the same, so that's good. I'm gonna put a little bit more green in there, just so we can get some good transitions. Should we do a little bit of a black in there? Let's see how the black performs. Cause black is hard to do. Cause it could be very sheer, it could be very opaque, it could be very nice, it could be very bad. I'm gonna do this color first, this Ngoro's palette. Tapping it in, we have more fallout. And I'm just gonna do kind of like a shadow liner. Just get that shape in there. It looks better on camera than it does in person, to be honest. Now I'm gonna start bringing this into this crease. This is always a problem I have personally because I have a, I have a scar on this side and I think I have a scar on this side as well because I got kicked in the face by someone on a swing before. So I usually, my makeup usually grabs right there. 
And I'll do what I usually do with, uh, you know, cleaning it up with a Q-tip and some micellar water. Just so I do stick to like my normal program. Okay, now let's try this black. We're just going to do that all along the top like a liner. Ooh, that's very, op that's very pigmented and opaque. I love it. I love this black. It's giving everything it's supposed to give. Okay, and then I'm just going to smudge out that little outer corner. And I'm blending the black on the liner, sort of, just so it's not as harsh. Then I'm going to go on top of everything, everything, get that green back in there because it kind of muddled away. Ta-da. Okay, I'm going to do the other eye before I clean everything up. Ups. Ups. Okay. P. Louise base. So should I do the same sort of look on the other eye to see like how it dif differs? Or should I do a different look? The options, the options. I think I should do the same look just so we see everything. I'll put like a glitter or sparkle on top of everything to finish it off. But first, let's do this look again. Okay, so we started off with Goro's palette with this teal color in the inner corner. Little bit better. There we go, that's a good green right there. Look at that. Look at that, that's lovely. Look at that green. Look at the difference. Ah! Also, my left eye is always worse than my right eye, so. <laughs> it's a little bit hard to do it evenly. No matter how talented you are, there will always be differentiation. Differentiations? Differences. Okay, okay. I need to clean this up. But I'm gonna put a little, little shimmer in the inner corner before I do that. I also need to do my under eyes. We can do different colors on the under eyes. That'll be a little bit. I'm gonna do this color in Ja. Kaya, we haven't used Kaya that much. Golly. Golly, mister. That's really bright. Dang. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I cleaned up the edges and um, I did my concealer and like the, my base beforehand so I had a little bit of fallout and that I needed to clean up. Then it got everywhere so like it kind of messed up my base. So there may be like spots. <laughs> Just ignore it. And then, so this, you can obviously tell in person which one is brighter because it has a white base, but this doesn't look bad by any means. Like, it looks great. Little bit patchy, a little not as blended to my standards, and that may just be user error, but amazing. So let's do the bottom. What? Maybe we should do a red bottom. Apple bottom, G, G, boot. I know I should try a glitter. Uh, I'm a coward. <laughs> I am. Straight up, I am. Let's do the red bottom. And then, and then we'll do a glitter. Put it off to the end. I don't remember whose was better, but we're gonna do Goro's. This red is great. I don't have anything on there under my eyes, so that's just straight up what it would look like. And just blend that corner. That doesn't blend that great, but that's okay. I adore that. I love it. I love it. Okay. Time to get it over and do a glitter. I'm gonna put a little bit of liner on. <laughs> Just a little bit, a tiny liner. Okay. It's time. It's time. I have some, uh, oh, the green glitter would work well with this. But I wanna do the, the silver glitter. <gasps> Solutions. Okay, we're gonna do the green glitter. Just a little. Um, there we go. Okay, I don't have glitter glue, so that's not great. It's not really sticking. Ta-da. We got something going on. And then what I have my epiphany about is I can use the silver as a highlighter. I can't tell. 
I can see it obviously, but I can't tell what it looks like. Like, does it look like I just played in my mom's makeup kit or does it look great? Almost done, almost done. Gotta finish it all up so we can see a completed look. A completed look. I have this Etude House Fixing Tint. I'm just gonna do kind of like a nudish lip so you don't really pay attention to the lip, you pay attention to the eye. And that is just in the shade Dusty Beige. And I'm gonna put a brown lip gloss on top. And that is the completed look. How do, what do we think? Oh, you can see the glitter. The glitter, I love it. I think this was a wonderful buy. I was pleasantly surprised by this because it shows up beautifully on my skin. These are amazing. I may just like put them on little like show CD stands in my room so you can like just see the beautiful art. I think next time I'll probably get some of the girls, some of the girl palettes because I only got guys here. But this is definitely worth the price waiting for the shipping. I adore these. These are lovely. They're great. So go ahead and check out Bun Chewy's Instagram. I'll have them linked down below. Um, I don't know when they're going to have another launch, but follow them and keep an eye out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much to Bun Chewy for sending all of these wonderful products and being so communicative on their Instagram. They were always updating everyone on what was going on with the shipping, the process. So, you know, that's not something you see all the time. So I really appreciate that. So yeah, go check them out. Go give them a follow. Um, if there's anything I didn't mention, I will put it in the description box or um, I'll leave it in a comment. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you want. Go check out my Twitch if you can. And I will see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.